Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to customize an AI model in Amazon Bedrock or generally we call it as a fine tuning, a foundation model in Amazon Bedrock. So here we will use Amazon um, Bedrock services. Within that Amazon Bedrock services, we're gonna um, use the capabilities which can help us to fine tune AI, AI model. Um, here, uh, Amazon Bedrock provides a couple of uh, foundation model versions uh, which we can use it to fine tune those or customize those ai models with using our own data so this kind of situations you know comes in picture where uh, you need to train the model with using your own uh, enterprise data so that the foundation model responds um, you know you with using your own context in such cases you know this is how we will fine tune or customize an ai model in amazon s3 bucket so in this video, we will see the from scratch to end how to customize it, how to use a foundation AI model in Amazon Bedrock. So this is my Amazon um, console. This is my AWS console. I am currently in Amazon Bedrock services as you see here. I'm using Reason US West 2. So here, there are, there are a lot of capabilities that you can discover on here. I'm going to show you like how you can customize a foundation model that is present in the Amazon Bedrock. So here, what we do is, you know, so there are a lot of options here. One is discover, test, uh, infer, and tune. So tune is nothing but customization. So here is the option of our interest in this lab session. So we're going to click on customize our custom models. So in custom models, you know, I have already done that uh, with an example. I'm going to show you how to do that. But before that, you know, I'm going to show you first, we you know how you can also do it with using, um, you know, the dashboard here or with using the uh, AWS console uh, or uh, while, you know, you can also do with using the uh, Boto3 options as well. That is uh, uh, AWS provided Python SDK. So to customize a model, you're going to click on a create fine tuning job. And then this is where the options comes in picture. So here is the name of your job you have to give in tag if you'd like to keep the tags and then the select model so when you click on a select models what happens is you know it will show you the models which are possibly customizable in your you know in your basically uh in your aws account so in my aws account currently i'm in us west 2 so in this uh, region of my aws account so these are all the serverless model providers like provided amazon anthropic and meta right so underneath the Amazon, so there are a lot of uh, different types of foundation models are there with the different capabilities. So these models can be trained on. So in this one, we are training the text based models. I'm not going to show you how to train the, you know, the image models. Maybe I'm going to create another lab session on that. So here, this is how basically you're going to choose the foundation model to customize it. So in, in our case, you know, we are using um, 3 dot to 1 billion um, instructions. So we're going to click on apply, which is a text model, right? So down the line, you know, you can explore on the tags as well. So hyper parameters are nothing but, you know, these are all the inputs that AWS asks you, uh, which is needed to customize the job that is fine tuning the job. So you can explore about that. For now, we're going to keep those default. And here is the very important part of the uh, configuration or of the uh, job setup that is input and output so for this case you know you need a s3 location path and that s3 location path should have a file of uh, you know the training data and the training data has to be a certain syntax so here we will use as you know we will use json l file or basically dot json l file so here is the where my bucket is there so i have an example bucket called bedrock fine tuning so this is the bucket i have created with using program actively i'm going to show you that script as well down the line so this is the script, you know, this is the bucket and in this one, you see that I have a JSONL file. I'm going to show you what is the content of this JSONL file. So this is an example file that you have to have it. And here is where, you know, you need to copy the S3 URI. So they're asking to provide the S3 URI. So here is where you can provide the S3 URI and then go for the output. So output also needs a path where it can store the output results. So for that also, you can view the another path so in my case it is um, you see that it is uh, fine tune output so here also i'm copy that um, s3 uri and try to put it here vpc let it be default i'm not gonna train it in a vpc and uh, very important that is uh, basically choosing a 
um, you know the role so here you cannot use this role and uh, you kind of create uh, you know the job so when you click on a create what happens is you know it will start the fine-tuning job so what is that fine tuning it is fine-tuning this llama 3.21 uh, billion uh, foundation model with using our own data set so I did the same thing with using programmatic programmatic approach which I'm going to show you the script as well with the same input and this is how basically it fine-tuned a foundation model so if I click on this one it will tell me like you know what model it has a fine tune so these are all the information as you see here so you know um, there are a lot of parameters here uh, it basically fine-tuned um, you know uh, the meta you see that it, it is fine-tuning this uh, meta llama 3.2 3, you know 2 billion so basically our source model is llama 3.2 3 billion instruction okay so that model is now fine-tuned and it has produced a custom model called this one that is meta custom model dolly so i have just given a random name you can forget about this one so this is how basically we customize it okay so and remember that the job of training the model is time taking so it will take a lot of times you can also explore that you know, when it is created when it is ended you know you can see the dates you see that so there is a huge amount of time it will take it will take nearly nearby two hours or close to two hours now this is what we did it in a um, uh, in a ui let's do it in a code wise so here i have a set of uh, piece of code uh, you know which i used for programmatically doing it one is you know so here i have a two important uh, script to make you uh, aware of one is the setup prerequisite.py file so this is one simple python um, pi file uh, basically uh, it's a python script it is uh, uses the uh, aws boto3 model you see that and a json model that's it and it is basically what is it does is you know it is it uses the boto3 client that is im client and then it uses the uh, you know the s3 bucket client and does that does the creation of two things one it, it creates a bucket as you see here and it also creates an im role so it creates an im role with a name like um, you know bedrock fine tune you see that it is trusted by uh, amazon bedrock services right and we have given him uh, basically we given this particular role uh, with a certain permission that is uh, s3 bucket access that's it so this is what you know basically this script is like a supporting script which will help you to create a prerequisite resources the prerequisite resources being um amazon basically i am role and then s3 bucket role okay all right so i'm going to share this script in the video discussion you can find it from there and you know encourage people to use it and basically subscribe my channel as well all right the next one is you know we're going to go to the next one is fine tune so i'm going to directly jump for the fine tune before i you know show the fine tune script i'm going to show you an example data set so my example data set is this one so it is only three um uh, three row data which is very simple uh, because it's a demo right and it, it comes with its own syntax so you need to follow the schema of this particular json l file and that should contain the keys like schema version and system and system being a list of uh, basically dictionary so in the first dictionary it just says a text uh, in the messages you see that it has a role called a role called user content you know again it is has something like this okay so here what is that we are doing is basically uh, we are training the foundation model with a certain uh, you know data the data contains like question and answer which contains like content equal to what is the capital of france the role is you know it's tax support assistant the assistant has to produce a text or content something like this that is capital of the france so this is something like you know here you see that there are two roles one is a user asking the question the other one is assistant which is nothing but foundational model you know giving the answer right so here question and answers are written in this particular context and we use this json file to train it so to before you train it you know what you have to do is you know you store this file into this uh, uh, s3 bucket so s3 bucket you see that i have kept that jsonl file and that is how i get that um, s3 url okay so that is about the our training data and of course the validation data would be like similar setup as well that is test json also so right now you can forget about this one what you have to do is you know you just copy this uh, another set and maybe you need to change the content of the um, uh, of the train uh, json uh, l information or json l file all right now with that said i know that is how basically um, uh, you know the uh, data set of of training now we go to the next one that is uh, fine tune so this is some a very simple python script which will create the training job that we have done in the uh, in the ui right just a while ago 
Now, this is something that, you know, if you want to do it programmatically, so this is how basically you can use this. So this is a script that you can uh, integrate in your own uh, pipelines, in your repository pipelines, and keep building the new versions of your own uh, foundation model. So that is how basic the script comes in picture. And you can schedule a job which will fight in your uh, foundation models periodically and helps you to get the, you know, the latest models. So this script is nothing, you know, it's not a magic. It's again using the, uh, you know, the Python uh, AWS SDK uh, Boto3 models or AWS provided Python SDK that is named called Boto3. So I have installed Boto3 in my system. It uses a date, right? And it creates a two clients. If you see here, one, it, it is creating the SDS client and Amazon Bedrock client, right? And uh, of course, so with using that, you know, it is actually used, you know, basically, accepts a two parameter which is a uh, hard code parameters one is the base model identifier so base model identifier is nothing but you know it should come with um, this own ARN file you know ARN format so you get the base modified base model um, ARN um, and the model should be uh, modifiable or allowed to modify there are only set of uh, foundation model are allowed to modify so those models ARN has to be provided here and then give the custom model name so you can give the custom model name so in my case, I have given Dolly. So that's the reason that you see the custom model in the name. Then this is the date time string that is needed for me to create a model customization job. So here, what we are doing is we are using the bedrock client and calling a function called create model customizations with these many parameters. You know, it has the job name. It has the, uh, you know, the customization uh, type that is fine tuning. Then the, then the role which is needed for uh, Amazon bedrock to fine tune. And then the parameters that is uh, we saw those you know epoch count batch size learning rate and then the training data set uh, url and the output data set uh, uh, you know s3 bucket url and then that's it so rest one is the custom model name and the base identifier and that's simple is basically you know, it's just a single um you know boto3 function call from of a client that client is nothing but amazon bedrock so when i run this particular script you know it just creates you know i did i did run that particular script something like this um, it does create the a customized job. So if I go back to the Amazon Bedrock and go to the customer models, so now this is where our custom models are being built in. Now, once the model is set, okay, so again, just to make you um, encouraged, you know, I'm going to uh, basically, I'm going to change the name with something else so that you see that, that, you know, it gets invoked, right? So what we do is, you know, we're going to train this uh, model, but produce this different, uh, you know, produce a different, uh, different job. So I'm going to run this uh, particular script now in front of you so before i go to the next step that is nothing but deploying the custom model design right um okay i need to switch to the uh, our directory so my directory being a cd bedrock cd bedrock uh, training so here i'm gonna call that fine tune script again so what does it does is basically as i explained you know it does creates that fine tune job and this is the area of that job you know if i go back and show you to the foundation uh, show you to the amazon uh, bedrock ui now here you go right so here is where our fine tune job is started now it is as you know started to work and it takes half an hour basically not half an hour uh, it takes nearby um, it takes nearby one and a half an hour so basically uh, you know so that is the reason i wanted to show you one is complete the other one is in progress okay consider that the job is completed now we go to the next step that is nothing but you know the uh, purchasing the provision throughput so what is purchasing provision throughput? Throughput is nothing but you now you have a custom model. Now you want to deploy that. So you can say like you know, say like deployed custom model. So deployed custom model is the, the throughput name. Okay. All right. So next one is we go to the uh, you know the commitment. So here I'm not taking commitment because I want to delete it off. A uh, model unit let it be default one because it's a costly. So I want to keep it my build very controlled. And here it asks me a lot of information. So I will say confirm purchase. So basically you see that the account is not authorized to perform the certain actions because you know, uh, I have to support it. You know, as I said, basically here, you know, we are using the, uh, you know, we have to purchase certain um, input here and you know, basically certain resources that is needed to deploy this particular foundation model. So what happens is, you know, that needs a certain permission. So I'm going to go to the uh, AWS support and get that, uh, you know, created. But in your case, if it has been approved, you know it should actually deploy a very simple you know it should be, you know you can start using that models um with using the 
UI are with using the programmatic code. So here I have also had a script called invoke the model. So once the deployment has been done, then only you can invoke that model, right? So that is how basically now you do customize the uh, AWS uh, Amazon Bedrock or uh, basically Amazon Bedrock's uh, foundation models. With that note, I, have, uh, I would like to thank you for watching my videos. Can request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks for coming. See you in the next video.